we mentioned gene mutations, uh, specifically used in the diagnosis and maybe even prognostic stratification. Can you tell a little bit, us a little bit about what that means? And I'd say there's actually really four sets of tests that we can send on patients. You commented earlier on what are called cytogenetics. So these are looking at the overall structure of the chromosomes. And I always tell my patients, you know, as a male, you're XY, as a female, you're XX, and then you get 23 chromosomes from mom and 23 from dad, and that's what's normal. Anything that's not that is something that's abnormal, which can be commonly seen uh, in patients with MDS. Another test, and especially if for whatever reason, if the cytogenetic test does not work, and the reason is because these cells have to divide to be able to look at the structure of the chromosomes is something called FISH. And really all FISH does, it's a stain on top of the cells that looks for very specific um, abnormalities in the chromosomes that can be seen. And then most importantly, you're going to hear mutation testing or things called next generation sequencing. And this has really revolutionized our field. And really what we are doing is we're actually sequencing the patient's DNA from their tumor, from their bone marrow or their blood, and we're looking for mutations that have been commonly described uh, to be associated with MDS. And this, as we're going to hear later, it impacts prognosis, but now is actually impacting uh, treatment as we get therapies that are very specific for certain mutations. So this is really changing the treatment paradigm of our patients. Can you tell me specifically what mutation means? It's a good question. So really mutation is just a, an alteration or a change in the normal DNA sequence. Uh, so for example, uh, you can have a, a change of a single nucleotide and, and by changing that, that can change the protein structure and therefore change the function and this is really what causes cancer in general.